Are you ready for expert tips, personal language journeys, and hearing about unique learning methods? Get ready to feel inspired to take action with your language learning. Hi, Vicki here, your favorite English teacher for a seriously fun time speaking English. And as you can see, today we are also joined by the lovely Tiara, the card master from Speak in Spades, where you can ace speaking, playing, and learning to become the jack of all trades in your target language. Welcome, Tiara. Oh my God, what an introduction. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, we tried so to, nice. to slip some some card lingo in there, see if anybody picked up on that. It was great. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already ready. <laughs> well, Thank we, you we are. Me. I brought my teeny tiny cards, so mm -hmm. I couldn't find my jumbo cards, so I had to bring the teeny tiny ones because the normal cards just wouldn't work today and needed to be something silly. It's Had perfect. some little, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> silly flair to it. Mm -hmm. Um, and I happen to have the cards today because I have some questions for you, but Ooh. I wanted to add an element of, um, mystery, I guess to it. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to pick a card and mm -hmm. you have to give the number of responses based on the number that's on the card. So Ooh. Uh, the first one, the first okay. question I mean mm -hmm. is, well, I guess I should, Ooh, <laughs> this is going to be a good one because you got mm -hmm. a 10. <laughs> How lucky 10. <laughs> so, list 10 reasons that you're learning your target language. Ooh, so <laughs> we'll be counting. That's easy, actually. <laughs> good, so, good. We like I'm it. I'm studying Korean as my main target language. And number one, I live in South Korea. So I live in Daegu and I've been here for five years now. Number two, my husband. I guess that is makes Korean. sense then. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> I live there, so why not learn yeah, it? I think that's the best one. I should have saved it for last. Well, actually, your second <laughs> reason sounds like it's starting to be a really good reason, too. Exactly. <laughs> My husband is Korean. And so that's another reason to talk with his family because I use English with my husband mainly. Oh, unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately. Is... Why unfortunate? Because, you know, I feel like in these relationships, one person's language skills just skyrockets and the others just stays the same. My yeah. husband's English has just skyrocketed and mine has been like, I'm still trying to understand your mom. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, I think that we need to do a, um, a like Korean only day. And so yeah. at least then he is required to, to support we... you for that. My husband and I tried to do it. It didn't work for us. So I exactly. To I, I mean, we didn't do yeah. Korean. We that wouldn't have. That wouldn't have. That's why it didn't work because neither yeah. of us knew any Korean. So, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I completely relate because um, I feel like my husband and I have just kind of balanced each other out because we use so much Spanglish at home that we're just yes. like not in. <laughs> we're like we're just gonna stay the same level for both because we use a little yours, yeah. a little mine. <laughs> exactly so, yeah and so those are the first two number three I taught English in a Korean middle school and even now I'm teaching in a private school and so I use it with the kids and they love it when I get it wrong they love it when I get it right <laughs> that's awesome that's a really good motivation mm -hmm. you got their support especially if they laugh at me when it's wrong, I go home and I study it. And I'm like, I'm using it again the next day. And they're like, ha ha, teacher, you actually studied. <laughs> <laughs> they're such fun teachers, I guess. Number four, I like food. And so ordering my own food in Korean is a power move. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. What else? Number five, I love 
transportation, but sometimes the elderly love touching my hair or they love like talking to me and I want to be able to talk to them too. And they show pictures as soon as you say hi and Anyangaseo and they're like, Oh, my daughter. <laughs> the stories are legendary. <laughs> oh, that is so cool that you are getting to share those moments with all of yes. these people and create right? these connections just even though it's a, you know, 10 minute mm-hmm. journey or whatever. Exactly. What else can I say? Mm, I... You thought it'd be easy. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with really good ones because I feel like living in Korea is just already the awesome reason, but there's so many <laughs> small moments where I'm like, this is why I have to keep learning Korean. And, um oh what about oh tell me not a problem number six I hope to be an amazing tour guide for any of my friends or family that come to visit and then number seven I need to order stuff online and the best online shops happen to be in all Korean so it's just more convenient I had to learn how to search for the exact type of yarn that I usually buy. I had to find how to say that in Korean. And I would just rather know it so that this way I don't have to go through the struggle of typing it every time, you know? For sure. Yarn, sorry, yarn for what? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love crocheting. So I knit, I crochet, a little bit of everything. You knit too? Okay, we're going to have to talk about that another time. That's yes. my New Year's resolution. I want to knit. Wow. Ooh, oh. there's a, we definitely talk soon. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, I love my husband. I don't always trust my husband with translations. So I should learn how to do that. <laughs> uh, trust issues. Another, yeah. <laughs> Again, <laughs> lots of love for my husband. But sometimes when I'm like, can you look this over? And he's like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's fine. And I'm like, did you even read it? Because I put a very specific error in there just to check. Exactly. <laughs> just to check. And you didn't pick up on it. So mm-hmm. I feel like if I catch them on a bad day, I'm not going to get quality work. And so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you have to like schedule it. Well, they're most alert at this time and mm-hmm. there's no soccer game today. <laughs> so, okay. If I do it right before, well, it, mm-hmm. they're going to be hungry at that moment. Uh <laughs> Really have to plan it in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it. So relatable. Uh, Yes. So relatable. Husbands. (laughs) Number nine. (laughs) I feel like that's going to be in the captions. Husbands. (laughs) (laughs) Number nine. I love music and I love Korean music. So a lot of the time I study with Korean lyrics or even some idols or some, uh, actors or actresses I love being able to understand them and the way that they write and number 10 these days I love watching variety shows on Netflix Korean variety shows have conquered Netflix from physical 100 to what's another one like busted or all of these things and I love them so much I might as well learn how to say my favorite phrases in Korean Mm-hmm. Yeah. It yeah. definitely makes it, it adds that extra element of enjoyment to it, to be able to right? like verbally, verbally participate. Yeah. So I feel like with, <laughs> with the soccer games that I get to yell things at the players, mm-hmm. I feel like I'm part of the game. Exactly. <laughs> Not like I've game. lived here my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it it does like sometimes mm-hmm. it's just little things like that. And it doesn't even have to be like full phrases, but just to be able to add like a, a word, like, come on, let's go. Mm-hmm. So, Makes a difference. You smashed those 10 reasons. Let's see what the next challenge will be. Okay. Might have a cat making an appearance here. Really? Yeah, little Janice. Oh, she's back. There's a lot of cords, and Mm -hmm. um, that's like perfect for. Oh, the other cat's like, why is she getting attention? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, this one will be. This is a two. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> it doesn't look like a two to me. So that's why I said it. Um, <laughs> the, um, sorry, I interrupted myself. The other cat heard that she was getting attention and is jealous and well, mm-hmm. gonna be a battle up in here. So we might get, yeah. we might get an appearance. Okay. Of the <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, please. No, <laughs> at least on the floor, not, <laughs> not on the screen. Um, okay. so your next one is mm-hmm. share two language learning resources that you have created. That's perfect. I have in spades. Yes. So I absolutely love this card game between you and me because I have created cards. And so I love (laughs) these cards so much because I could play all of my favorite games. Like I declare war or games I played with my family and share them with other people while having language challenges. Does that say describe your commute? Oh, that's perfect from what you were talking about earlier. Exactly. Well, today a little lady asked me. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. And I wanted these resources to be where you could start conversations with other people or challenge yourself to see how many of these activities you could do. And so solo games or multiplayer games with just yeah. one resource and you could yeah, always change your so answers. perfect to have the questions right there on him. Exactly. And I tried to make the mix between easy or hard. So that's my spade language pack, my baby that I play at least twice a day because I was that your first shuffle. creation? No, no, my first oh, okay. creation. Because you said no. your baby, so I thought maybe it's the first one. <laughs> it's it's the baby baby because it's the latest one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but the it's other the one, newborn <laughs> exactly. So I did the very first product. Like the whole journey started with this journal that I created for myself with 150 questions to see what I could answer in Korean yeah. because isn't that realized, how it starts yeah it does okay. this is what would inspire me this is yeah that's yeah. awesome something that I know I need because mm-hmm. I I don't like textbooks that just teach a grammar point and you translate two sentences and now you're on to the next chapter it's like no I didn't even use yeah, it like to I want for sure I want to dig into this and make sure that I really get it Right. And so I wanted an open-ended journal or workbook, and I created it in English to translate all of the questions into Korean. And now I get Gunther it. wanted to hear the story up close. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I have such a big heart for cats. And it's he has, he has a big heart for your story. So. <laughs> and so it's cool. I had this journal in English originally, but then other people have helped me translate it into different languages. And so I officially have a journal that is translated in Korean. And this is... Oh, wow. So it's like your your Mm -hmm. original or like your... Oh, don't step on the computer. (laughs) (laughs) And that's where cats get dangerous. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Call ended. (laughs) Gunther, please. Like, wow. I know you want to participate, mm-hmm. but man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so mm-hmm. um what I was saying <laughs> no is that we we also learn a lot from having cats around because they help us <laughs> they keep us on our toes and they right. help us to continue even with distractions, keep going. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah learning so much from them, but that your <laughs> Korean journal, it's like, that's where it all started was your. Right. So you, yeah, I just love that. It's like that a full your... circle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. So it has 150 questions, 10 topics people could fill in. Like it's, mainly open space which is what I feel like I needed in my own resource yeah it has the questions but it gives you your grammar page earlier was the vocab page where you could write your own notes for how to answer the questions a chapter prompt just like the good old Spanish textbooks I had when I was in middle school high school like now it's but making turn. you using it yeah exactly making you, using it. Making you use it <laughs> exactly <laughs> So those are my two resources. If those I have are awesome. 
And if okay. anybody wants to go grab them, where can they get them? On my website at speakinspades.com. I hope check you out, check them out. Yeah. And... That was a great question. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> it was just off the top of my head. I didn't even know. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I I wanted you all to know about these resources. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Too. <laughs> this is, is like, it's morning and <laughs> this is the time that the cats are like, this is when she would normally be on the sofa giving us cuddles. And we don't know why she's not doing that right now. So we're just going to exactly. come to her I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. that's fine. So the fine next one me. that I choose uh, I guess I should look at Ooh. first nine. Ooh. Okay. okay. So um, this one you, I think will be really, um, you will find really easy to do. And you've already listed some list nine card games that you enjoy. You can't tell us any that you don't like. They have to be ones you enjoy. Oh man. <laughs> So right off the bat, solo games that I love and regularly play, Solitaire. My husband, do you know what I call? Okay, I'm going to Yeah. I'm going to tell everybody. <laughs> I call my husband sometimes he plays the Solitaire like on the like mm-hmm. on his phone or on the tablet and mm-hmm. I call it the the Candy Crush for the elderly, but I love Solitaire. So like it's <laughs> it's a bash to myself too, but yeah. <laughs> I'm like that's Candy Crush for old people. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> but my it, grandma does not play solitaire. <laughs> I know my grandma didn't either. <laughs> so, oh, it's, it's just is. I say it with love, obviously. Um. Yeah, I love having a a deck of cards and playing solitaire in the airport when I'm mm-hmm. just like what waiting for the plane. And if I had the speak and spades deck, I mean, that would be perfect. Then it'd be language learning solitaire people. There's such a fun story for what actually happened on one of the boat rides that I took with the cards, but I'll share it a little later because it's so funny that you mentioned bringing it to an airport or bringing it to transportation, but solitaire is a great solo game. On the Solitaire app, I was introduced to Tri-Peaks, which is a way to train your brain to go up or down on the scale. So like A is one, and then you have two through 10, and then Jack, Queen, King. So it's three small pyramids in the very bottom row all aligned together. And in order for you to move up, you have to clear the row. How do you do that? The card that's in front, if it's a five, then you're looking for a four or a six. So you could go up or down. Gotcha. And yeah, it's like solo, a solo version of the next game, which is spit or speed. Some oh, people call speed. It spit, yeah. Some people call it speed. So if the solo version, although is I've never tri-peak. played speed slower, so slower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Solo. Um, <laughs> so I, I wonder if it's the same speed. That, mm-hmm. pretty much that I play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If it's two people and you're trying to go up or down and yeah, get rid of your cards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so those are the first three. There's another solo game that's called, oh my God, what is it? I I want to call it, because it is it Polar Bear or something like that? So it has like two pyramids and the goal is to match the card in front of you in any of the bottom row cards with the number to make 13. So like a seven and a six together would make 13. 13. So that's how you clear it. Or like oh. a queen counts as a 12. So you're yep. looking for an A and then that way you could clear it. So oh, yeah. Um, solo games. I don't need to play with others. <laughs> like, but I, love I don't need friends. <laughs> Yeah, but I love playing with other people. But if they cancel, awesome. I'm like, great. It's <laughs> <laughs> still fun for me. Exactly. Not a problem. It's now speed for one. That's fine. I'm very much so missing home these days. And especially mm. around the holidays, my family would play spades. 
which is a four player game. Oh. And I love being partners with my dad and my sister and my mom are partners because they were born in August, my sister and my mom, and me and my dad are born in December. So it's oh. like summer versus winter. And oh. I love it. <laughs> But my grandma, when I visited home two years ago, she showed me how to play spades with three people. And it is called 369. It's more advanced. It is so fun. And I've been teaching it to the university students that I taught last year, mm-hmm. my language exchange, everywhere. Oh, I I'm love like, you're you sharing that, that memory yes. of what your grandma taught you. Yes. My grandma, she with just the surprised world. us with it. Right? And it's so crazy because my grandma, for her to not only teach us a new game, but to be able to kick our butts at it is kind of epic, you know? (laughs) Go grandma. (laughs) Yeah. Grandma, she might take some time shuffling the cards, but she'll beat you. (laughs) (laughs) She's just getting her strategy. That's all. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. I firmly believe she's counting cards, but I can't. <laughs> but I've can't never been able it. to prove it. <laughs> exactly. What other games? So I feel like that's five so far. And then if I have to give four more, uh, I declare war, the classic. Mm-hmm. Um, I would go, these days I play Go Fish a lot. Yeah, I love Go Fish. I love Go Fish. That's my um, favorite go-to bar game because it's super easy to teach. You can play it with a group of people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I like, love hey, it. strangers. As my husband chats with people about soccer uh, or whatever, and I'm not interested in the topic of that day, then I'm like, who wants to play Go Fish with my little <laughs> teeny <laughs> tiny cards? <laughs> right. I love it. Always come prepared. I think that's one thing to learn. If you have a deck of cards, you are always prepared for a good time. Yeah. You know? Agreed. I also love, um, I, Bluff. Bluff is another one. It's, um, some people know it as BS, but some people know it as Bluff. And that's a cool one to play in a bigger group and to get people talking and to see who has a poker face and who doesn't know how to lie. (laughs) because <laughs> I'm like avoiding eye contact and and mm-hmm. giving a long exaggerated answer and they're like another lie from Vicky okay exactly. <laughs> I'm like, mm, fine mm-hmm. give me all your cards <laughs> exactly and then the last one is pigs or some people call it spoons so oh, okay spo- spoons I love it how when you're like some people call it and I'm like oh I know <laughs> exactly <laughs> but I love (laughs) card games because there's such a story behind them. Everyone knows some version of some game and it has like names. Oh, this is just like this. And you know, yeah, 100%. Especially from the, especially from the US, because here there are so many teachers from other countries as well. And when I'm with another American, it's like, oh, this is this. My school did that. And I feel so connected to a person from California, even though I'm from New Jersey, you know? (laughs) Gunther just made his exit. I think he's Mm -hmm. off to go play some of these games you mentioned. Right. Don't know which one he'll start with. Probably spoons, especially if it involves cat food. (laughs) (laughs) You gotta start. And I'm off. (laughs) Right. All right, buddy. You do you. Right. And um, next one, tell me. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess right. probably either way. Um, uh-huh. Tell me <laughs> the four best ways to connect with others to practice the language you're learning. Because I know that's something that you are um, really big on. You are mm-hmm. amazing at. Well, that's how we met because of your ability to connect with people. And that's how I met a lot of other people through you. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I'm so glad that we connected, by the way. Like, Mm. sentence aside, I I love the fact that we've connected. And anyone watching, you could probably see me, like, not stop smiling. I love her (laughs) energy. 
and that's kind of how we first met each other. It was with exclamation points, and I love games too. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so I'm grinning from ear to ear. This is a very fun interview. Um, four of the best ways to connect with other learners. Number one is to comment. Believe it or not, just by commenting on other people's posts, I was shocked by how many people like over on Instagram. Yeah, on any social media, really. Oh, sure, sure. On this YouTube YouTube video, for example. Exactly. (laughs) Like what? What am I doing? Saying Instagram. I. But I was thinking because that's how we connected originally. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah. I was able to meet you. I was able to meet Matt from Language uh, Card Games. I was Mm -hmm. able to meet even Naya, the person who I work with for the language challenges on Instagram. Like Mm -hmm. I was able to meet everyone just from commenting or replying to a comment. Mm -hmm. And it's hard at first because putting yourself out there and pressing the send button, it takes Mm -hmm. some guts. But I'm but I mean, it's no less guts than just getting out there and, and using the language you're learning too. So exactly. Yeah. So even if, if you can do that, learning, you can do anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so real. So shocked. I'm an introvert, believe it or not, but I am comfortable with people who I talk to. And as yeah. soon as I just reach out with that one message for someone that speaks the same language or just gave me a really good tip, or I just really like that video you'd be surprised how many people actually just want to connect with you too. We're just putting stuff out there to see who connects with us, you know? And now I have to start thinking about it the other way around. And so we're still learning that lesson. And I think that's a great way. Um, Three more would be to join a language challenge and not just because I do them, but... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but I can attest that there are so many people that I met through the language challenge that I did with you. Um, Renee mm-hmm. was our leader. I think we were the hearts group. Mm-hmm. So yeah, she really right. like, in, she was the driving force behind our, our success with that challenge. And well, right. that's, that's, almost like not giving everybody else credit, but <laughs> she just, she just encouraged us so want. much though, that then we were like, okay, she's, she's encouraging mm-hmm. us. So we're going to encourage each other and we're going to get the ball rolling. We're going to keep up with. And, um, even when you got behind, there was somebody in the Instagram group that was like, don't worry, you can catch up. There's still time. You got this. And yeah, it was so motivating and a mix mm-hmm. of languages within the Instagram chat and within the comments on the post. And sorry, I really right. no, it's good. <laughs> I can talk I'm for hours really about the language excited. challenge. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited wow. that you have this energy because it's so true. The challenges just bring you a connection. Like you mm. connect with people who have similar experiences to you. So when you agree to do the challenge and there's a bunch of people who agree and you see their energy, you're like, yeah, I got to do it for the team or I (laughs) got to do it because they're doing it. And you don't know why they're doing it. (laughs) Yeah. Because like you initially go in because of the language. You're like, I'm going to connect with the language. But what you don't realize is you're going to get all of this connecting with the people participating as well. Exactly. So. That warms my heart to hear that you still have a good memory with it because it yeah, was totally. so long ago and it's coming yeah. up too. And so, yeah. Yeah. So keep your eyes nice. peeled over uh, mm-hmm. at, at Speak in Spades is where we mm-hmm. can find the next challenge, folks. <laughs> Get where, ready. Where is that? Language and Olympics so many. 2024. Yes. yes. So mine's the Language Olympics and then we have the Language Blizzard. But there's so many language challenges out there that other people are trying to do too. So I want oh, that's to make true. sure. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, of like course, probably if you mine. just put, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, course, that's the one mine. I know because I've done it. But um, yeah. if you do like a, uh, probably mm-hmm. like hashtag language challenge or something, then you could mm-hmm. find a, or even just use a search language challenge. There'd be a number that come up and mm-hmm. you can look in my past videos. I've done different kind of like challenge ideas as well. So 
exactly. <laughs> yeah. The, so just they're all over. You can mm-hmm. find them everywhere. Don't worry, folks. We have yes. we have your back. We, we are here to you. support your practice. Exactly. What other ways so, to connect? Two other ways I would say to join an online platform that makes you feel comfortable. So yeah. I even more than trying to say join one for your language, I feel like even if it's not necessarily for your language or even if it is for an English community, for example, and you're able to connect with people from other countries, some of them might be from the language from a from a country that speaks your language, but even yeah. if not, you can learn so much about yourself as a learner or you can learn so much about being accountable by just joining a community and there's so many out there and really keep an open mind because for me it's easy and hard to find a Korean language community and in my case in one way I had to create one and in other ways I just had to get used to finding online places where most people are studying Italian or French and I'm just there because I need people to say you got this every now and then. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's when those kind of situations happen that you realize that there's an opportunity to create the thing that you're looking for. Like what happened mm-hmm. with your, oh, my voice is going. <laughs> no worry. Excuse me. <laughs> um, <laughs> that you can create the the thing that you're missing, like you did with your mm-hmm. journal in the beginning. So, right. um, and it, <laughs> If memory serves, don't you have a membership as well that is helping to to bridge that gap that you just mentioned? Absolutely. And so I've been hinting at it a little bit throughout this interview so far, but here in Korea, I have created a language exchange for Korean and English here to bridge between like Korea has like mainly Koreans living in Daegu especially. And there's a lot of foreign teachers from different countries. So I wanted to be that bridge because Mm -hmm. I wanted to make new friends. But a lot of people, after seeing my stuff on Instagram, they were like, oh, I wish I could join, but I'm not in your country. Or I got comments saying like, oh, my country doesn't have a lot of people speaking the language that I want. And I want to be able to give the experience that I've developed over the year that I've been hosting and all the game activities and chances to just connect. I want to give that to an online presence. So there's the card party community where we're just doing the daily prompts, Mondays or check in Mondays, Fridays or celebrate your wins and everything in between. So you could find chances to connect, but also every two weeks is learning how to play a different game online, sometimes with just me and sometimes with other content creators. And I imagine some of those nine games we talked about will come up in that. You know (laughs) it. (laughs) And you might find some very interesting content creators like the one I'm talking with on that site. Gunther, Janice? Yeah, all three of you, a four-player game. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, Three I, for the price it'll it'll one. definitely probably limit my chances of winning with the, the cats playing but you know well, i plan all know. along <laughs> mm, i, I don't see lose. what you're up I'm the to card master what are you talking about <laughs> a perfect plan <laughs> exactly <laughs> and um so, and one more do we have mm-hmm. for connecting we have one more or did we yeah Yeah. One more is just to share your story. I know that social media and online presence is such a scary thing, but all four of the steps that I'm giving you guys are ways that you could do it in your own home or in your country without even having to go outside. Because if you share your journey, now's the chance for other people to comment on your stuff, to support you, or even to say, hey, I do this too. And it's just creating the opportunities for other people to be a part of your journey. And if you think about language learning as so like a way to connect, the more you share, the more you have a chance to connect. And 
I am learning that the hard way. When I first started speaking spades, I just wanted to throw my resource out there and be faceless. And (laughs) these days I'm learning that, hey, when I show my face, look at that beautiful face. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm secretly like, hi, look away. (laughs) Don't look directly (laughs) at (laughs) paparazzi, no photos. (laughs) Exactly. Oh, I was terrified in the beginning. And it took until literally last year to realize like hey I actually want to connect with people but how can people connect with me if I'm not putting myself out there yeah so it's hard but it's really inspiring for and like you don't know who is watching the video that you have posted um because I know you post some videos on your Instagram stories and you never know who's like kind of like hiding in the background, watching that video and feeling seen and understood. And they're like, okay, well, if she can do it, then I can do it. And, um, and maybe they won't post a video, but maybe it inspired them and helped make that little change for them. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) We're getting teary. I'm loving I'm trying, I, I'm like, I'm doing the thing where I'm like, I shouldn't look away because they can see right. me. <laughs> oh, well, that is all we have time mm-hmm. for. And I hope that everybody has enjoyed hearing about um, languages and all the different ways that you can have fun with them and to make new friends like we have and um yeah I don't know just thanks for for coming and listening and if you want to play more with Tiara then shuffle on over to her website which again is speakinspades.com where you can of course find all the resources that we've mentioned along with the card party community club And also watch for the language Olympics that we talked about in other language challenges over on her Instagram at speak in spades and feel free to share your language stories in your Instagram as well. I hope you, well, and I say Instagram so much, but since we're over on YouTube for this, (laughs) share in the comments, like we also want to hear from you here. If that's why we're here. That's why we're sharing these stories and remember to subscribe. So you don't miss any other teacher chats and all of our fluency tips. Gunther is making one last appearance. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a great episode. Today was brought to you by a lot of cats mm-hmm. <laughs> and thanks for coming everyone. And we will see you next time. Thank you so much, Tiara. Thank you for having me. Bye, everybody.